Hey, you guys, and welcome back to another hashtag own and unread video. For those of you who don't know what hashtag and own and unread is, it's something I started over on Instagram, so I'll link that down below. And if you guys use the hashtag on Instagram or on Twitter, I'll be sure to go check it out. And it's basically just where I show you books that I own that are unread and that we can probably try to encourage each other to read way sooner. And if you guys do a video, link it down below and I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, so, or link me uh, in like a comment or something so I can go check it out either way. So, <laughs> we have a lot more books. Uh, I have a lot more books to show you that are owner unread and I'll link my previous owner unread video that I did before for this year as well as my wrap up from last year. So the first series that we have is by Dean Koontz and it is his Odd Thomas series and this is book two, Forever Odd and uh, then we have Brother Odd and then Odd Hours. I really hope I got that right. Now there are more in this series but I really need to reread the first one and then read these three before I continue on with buying the rest of the series or at least I want to reread the first two. Well reread the first one and then read the second one and then you know like to just kind of continue buying it like maybe like read one a month so we'll see how that goes down and then the next series that I have for you guys is Escape from the Furnace and of course I read the first one but I haven't read this one. This is a sequel second book solitary and then we have death sentence and then we have fugitives and then i believe there's like two more books i believe in the series but again i won't start getting the other ones until i start reading the series see i'm really trying to keep control of my buying and that is one way to do it. it's just like you can't buy anymore in a series uh if you already own like the first couples consecutively because like i'm not going to start a series if i don't have the second book already <laughs> um because uh, that would be, I don't know, just how I justify it in my mind. So the next book I have is Killer Instincts by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, and this is a sequel to The Naturals, and I love The Naturals. I read it so fast, and then I had this one, and I actually got it for, I bought, this is my pre-order copy, but I actually got it for a review from Night Galley, and I haven't read it yet, and I'm so shameful of that fact. I kind of want to reread the first one, so we'll see how that goes, because <laughs> I really want to get to it this year and soon. The next book that I have is In the End by Demetria Lunetti. Um, I really enjoyed In the After, just flew through it. I thought it was predictable, but yet yeah, really good. Um, but I know this one's probably going to take on a different tone. And I'm deciding, and I'm, even though I remember what happens in the after, I'm thinking maybe this is my chance to reread it before reading this one. Or if I just shouldn't just waste that time and just go ahead and read this one because, you know, rereading takes time. And I, while I could be reading this, but hey, you know. Reading is for pleasure anyway, so I shouldn't think of it like that. The next books I have for you guys are Hunted and Boundless by Cynthia Hand. I've read Unearthly, enjoyed it, flew through it. It's been a while since I've read it and it took a way long time for me to get my hands on this copy for like cheap because yeah I was waiting until I found a cheap copy and so uh, by this point I think I'm just going to read Unearthly and then get to these ones and I haven't heard like much about this series actually I know a lot of people enjoy it unearthly if they have read it but haven't heard more and then the next books are all by the same author Holly Black and the first one is Poison Eaters and other stories so it's just like a bunch of short stories by Holly Black and then we have Ironside by her and this is the third book in like her fairy series uh, the first one is Tithy and then there's Valiant and then we have Ironside and I've read the other two but I'm definitely looking into rereading them before getting to the third one. And then we have White Cat by Holly Black which is the first one in another of her series. This is just like this because I haven't taken it off really like except when I first got it when I bought it and it's a signed copy actually and yeah. And then last but not least we have The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I really enjoyed Tithy and Valiant. So I really I really enjoy her writing and her ideas and I also read one of her other short stories and like this bind up I have somewhere. So I'm really looking forward to continue on with reading more of her books. So you guys let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books before, whether or not you plan to, or if uh, they just don't interest you. Which one do you guys think that I should start first? Well, let me know down below and well, you saw that disaster. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.